Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with Stephen Nover. Talk a little WNBA action for Thursday, September 19th, last day of the regular season. We're going to talk the wings and the aces. You guys are going to like, share, subscribe, use the promo code below, LENNY20, saves you 20% off your entire purchase, picksandparlays.net. Now, Stephen, Dallas travels to Vegas, taking on the aces. Total sits at 176.5. Aces favored here, minus eight. What are your thoughts here going in? Uh, first of all, we're going into the playoffs here. It's kind of a, I don't want to call it a meaningless game. For some people, it means something. I mean, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Well, Lenny, as you mentioned, this is the final uh, night of the regular season in the WNBA. So there are some interesting scenarios. This game is one of those interesting scenarios. The Aces are one game uh, away from the third seed, but mm -hmm. they can get closed out if the Connecticut Sun win, and the Sun are gonna, the Sun is gonna win. They are gonna win right. because they're playing three hours earlier than the Aces, and they're hosting the Chicago Sky. The Sky has just given up on their season. They they haven't been competitive at all. They're one and four in their last five games. They've not had Angel Reese in any of those games. She is out for the season. They're not likely to have Chennedy Carter, who's their leading scorer, and actually been their best player. So the sky is just, they're not going to show up. Connecticut is a 13-point favorite. And so what happens uh, three hours early when the Aces find out that the Connecticut Sun have won that game? That means the Aces are locked in to the number four seed, whether they right. win or lose against the Wings. So uh, I don't, uh, envisioning the Sun to win that game, I don't see the Aces you know, really caring about this game. It turns it into a totally meaningless game. They may even hold out Asia Wilson. Wilson has already set the single season scoring record and rebounding record. She really has nothing to play for, and she's been a little banged up down the stretch. Uh, the Wings, yeah, they're a terrible team, but they can score. They're the number uh, four scoring team in the WNBA. They average 84.2 points. Now, the Wings, they don't play any defense, but they won't have to if the Aces right. um, just mail this game in because the Aces do not have a strong bench. For instance, Lenny, their number seven, eight, nine, and 10 scorers uh, for Las Vegas, they average a combined eight. Uh, they combine an average. Uh, let me just see what I, what I totaled up here. Uh, uh, they average a combined nine points a game. That's all of them averaging a combined right. nine points a game and they're not going to, you know, they're, you know, they're not going to score, you know, they're horrible right. scorers. They're just role players. Can Dallas be competitive? Yes. Dallas has been competitive in its last two games. They were 11 and a half point dogs to Seattle storm two games ago. They only lost that game by two points. They were nine and a half point underdogs to Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark. They lost that game by one point. Those are their last two games. They're showing something down the stretch and a chance to finish a dreadful season with a victory against the Aces. Uh, they'll have motivation. They'll play hard where I don't see the Aces, uh, you know, no reason for them to play right. hard if they're closed out. Fair enough. We're going to take Dallas Wings plus the eight when they take on uh, Las Vegas and the Aces Thursday, September 19th. Be on the lookout for some playoff plays from uh, Steven Nova over at picksandparlays.net. You got to go over there, head over there to the website. Links in the description below. Use the promo code below. Uh, LENNY20. Save you 20% off all your premium plays at picksandparlays.net. Till then, we're going with the Dallas Wings on Thursday. Good luck, everybody out there, unless you're against us. Take care, folks. We'll see you guys on the next one.